It's ABC 3340 News at 4. Earlier this week, Birmingham Police Department announced an arrest made in the Five Points South mass shooting. Four people were killed and 17 others injured when shots were fired outside Hush Lounge last month. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kira Hood in for Muriel Bailey. And I'm Brenda Ladun, but there's still work to do when it comes to investigating the other mass shooting that happened a couple of months before. ABC 33 Four Days Valerie Bell explains how no arrests in that case have been made and how people who live in North Birmingham would like to see justice in their community too for July 13th's deadly attack. This is the scene along 27th Street North the morning after the mass shooting where bullets pierced the building. Several holes were left on the ground, blood and beer bottles. I started to go there when they had the mass shooting, but something told me not to go and it was on my birthday. 14 people were shot, four of whom died. In the coming days, a memorial was placed outside in memory of 24-year-old Lorandis Anderson, 39-year-old Stevie McGee, 42-year-old Markeisha Gettings, and 56-year-old Angela Weatherspoon. I think it's very sad. It's sad for somebody to lose their family and something like that. A settlement was recently reached in court between the city and property owner. This came after the city took legal action to shut down the unlicensed venue, which was said to be operating there at the time of the tragedy. But still, to this point, the person behind the trigger is still out there. Nothing's happy, just like, oh, well, it's another kid in Birmingham. Why are they no justice yet? You know, so um, I hope it will be justice. Prompting mixed feelings in the city's north side. At nighttime, I'd be kind of scared because I like walk from the store and stuff, and I'd be like, you know, on my P's and Q's, but daytime, I don't worry about it. I feel safe, but I don't know about the rest of the people that's in this community. Do they feel safe? While Jerome Richardson feels safe, he doesn't feel that the mass shooting in North Birmingham is being treated the same way as the mass shooting in Five Points. Four people got kid over here, four people got kid over there. This was first and that was second and they they put a what a hundred thousand dollar reward over there and it was all over the world news. This didn't even make uh, I reckon it just made Birmingham news. Richardson adds this. I hate it happening any, it happened anyway. I would want them to put a lot of interest in what happened in over here on the north side just as well as the south side. Because uh, you know it, hey we all it was you know it happened to all of us. Birmingham Police Department saying Friday, we extend our gratitude to the community for the valuable tips received so far. BPD, in collaboration with our federal partners, will diligently pursue all leads and tips to apprehend those accountable for the abhorrent act of violence. Your continued support is paramount in achieving justice for all involved. People in the community agreeing anyone who knows something should say something. They need to come forward and let them know so people could get some closure on uh, who killed their uh, mothers and sisters and brothers, you know. And so that's what they need to do. You come know. forth, immediately come forth, and get that family some closure. Michael Stubbs even urging whoever is responsible to turn themselves in. Just come forward and just... Take your, just do your time. You know, you know, you was wrong. Something that's so small ended up so big. You didn't have to take no lives. Now, anyone with any information is asked to contact Birmingham Police or Crime Stoppers. You can remain anonymous. In Birmingham, Valerie Bell, ABC 3340 News. BPD has no further details to report in this investigation for now. The investigation is ongoing and ABC 3340 remains on top of the mass shooting out of North Birmingham. You can read more updates on this case on ABC 3340.com and our free news app.